The Bible is a book that needs no introduction. Everybody knows that it is a holy book, for it contains a collection of sacred texts. This applies to both the Hebrew Bible, also known as the Tanakh, as well as the New Testament. The compilation of these two sacred collections is what constitutes the Christian Bible, which is also known as the Bible or uh, the Holy Bible. Though it is inspired by God, the Bible is a collection of texts which are considered sacred but nonetheless written by human beings. Being that the case, is it wise to interpret everything in the Bible literally? For instance, when it is indicated in the book of Genesis that God created the world in six days, should we consider these days to be 24-hour days as we know them today, or should we interpret this biblical reckoning differently? Still keeping with the understanding of the Bible, is it really wise for us to interpret all the words of Jesus literally? I am by no means implying that none of the words of Jesus as recorded in the Bible should be taken at face value. The truth is that, though some of them should, not all of them should be interpreted literally. For instance, let us consider the words of Jesus as recorded in the Gospel of Mark. Before we read Mark 14.62, which actually has the words of Jesus, let's read Mark 14.61. Mark 14.61 reads as follows. After he was arrested and brought before the Sanhedrin, the high priest asked Jesus, Are you the Christ, the Son of the Blessed One? Now to this question Jesus replied as follows. I am. And you will see the Son of Man sitting at the right hand of the Mighty One and coming on the clouds of heaven. Now this is Mark 14.62. Now, we should ask ourselves, what did Jesus mean when he said, And you will see the Son of Man sitting at the right hand of the Mighty One and coming on the clouds of heaven? If and when considered literally, it would mean that Jesus was telling the high priest and his entourage that they will see him sitting at the right side of God. And not only that they will see him sitting at the right side of God, but that they will also see him descending on the clouds of heaven. Is this what Jesus meant? Did he really mean that the high priest and the members of the Sanhedrin were going to literally see him sitting at the right side of God? Did he really mean that they were going to literally see him descending from the sky? Interpreting this passage literally is a mistake because, to this day, there has never been a record of Caiaphas and the members of the Sanhedrin, or any other high priest for that matter, seeing Jesus sitting at the right hand of God. Neither has there been a record of them seeing Jesus descending from heaven. So, sitting at the right hand of God is nothing but a figure of speech. So is coming on the clouds of heaven. So just like with Mark 14.62 as quoted above, we fail to grasp the many heavenly secrets hidden in Jesus' message when we neglect to understand his metaphors. Are there any of Jesus' words that can be interpreted literally? Of course. Let me give you an example. When Jesus told Peter that he, Peter, was going to deny knowing him three times, that was not a metaphor. Now we can turn to the Gospel of Mark, chapter 14, verse 30, where Jesus said to Peter, Today, yes, tonight, before the rooster crows twice, you yourself will disown me three times. So once again, we fail to connect to Jesus' heart and understand his message when we neglect to distinguish between 
what to interpret literally and what not to. Interpreting the whole Bible literally is nothing but a mistake, a huge mistake. By the same token, interpreting the whole Bible as if a collection of metaphors is also nothing but a mistake. And again, a huge mistake. Take some time to think about this. Thank you for watching. May God bless you.